digital or analog output? George in Morgantown, West Virginia wants to know which one is going to be better. And he writes, my sound room has improved so much thanks to your help. Wow. Well, thanks. That's really nice. I appreciate that. And that's why we do these videos, just to reach out and touch as many people as we can and hopefully give you some help. So he writes, if your CD player has a nice sounding DAC, would I do better just going old school and going RCA from the DAC to my preamp? If the digital out or toss link messes with the sound by crushing the information the CD is sending with I squared S to the DAC in my player, wouldn't the RCA out of the DAC's internal DAC be better than the digital out? I think you have to go RCA in and at some point, and if you like the sound of the DAC and the DAC, is there an advantage <coughs> to putting the sound into and out of SPDIF? So let me try and explain what he's getting at because that's not, I don't think that's so clear to people. Internally to a CD player, we have a transport, which is the spinny thing in the laser, right? And we have a DDA converter, a DAC. And those two communicate, they're two separate things in one box. Those communicate by a format called I squared S. And on I squared S, you have separate clocks and separate data lines. And you have, oh, there's five of them or four. And they communicate easily between the two and it's the best connection possible. If you want to take an output from your CD player, what we call SPDIF, the Sony Philips Digital Interface, which is what he's talking about, we use a toss link, which is the optical cable, or we use the RCA connector. Now that takes that I squared S, those four or five things. Yeah, well, sorry, <laughs> it's the weekend. Um, we take those separate clocks and data and we squeeze them down. That's what he's talking about, crunching in. We squeeze them down into a single output which goes through the RCA jack or through the um, uh, optical cable into our DAC. And once it gets into the DAC, then it has to blossom itself back out again, back into I squared S and into our DAC. So that between uh, the, if we only use half the CD player, and then we squeeze everything down, goes out into a single cable, has to come back out. That process uh, doesn't do the sound any good. We, we know that we could do better, which is why at PS Audio, all of our CD transports, if you will, have I squared S out, and all of our DACs have I squared S in, and we use an HDMI cable so that you never have to go through that SP diff crushing thing down. But the question uh, isn't so much how did we deal with it, because we, we dealt with it, right? The question, I feel like picking it up and seeing who is it? Oh, goodness. I don't know. Um, whether or not the DAC inside would be a better option than squeezing it down and taking it into a DAC. And of course, the answer lies in knowing what kind of DAC is inside your CD player. I mean, typically, the DACs inside a CD player suck. They're not very good. They're just a couple of chips. They, they put all their effort into the user interface, into the chassis, into the transport, and then they throw a DAC in there. That's typically how it's done. So in almost every case, you're going to be better off suffering the small amount of degradation and going into an external DAC. And there are great external DACs on the market. We make them, other people make them, and you're almost always going to be better off going to an external DAC because almost always external DACs sound better than internal DACs. Now, as in anything, there's exceptions to this rule. There are CD players out there that are kind of expensive, but they sound great. They have a great DAC. And there's no technical reason why you can't put a great DAC into a CD player. And maybe someday we'll make a CD player. We only make transports and separate DACs now. And so, yeah, you certainly could. And then that would be a really great solution. But that's generally not what's done. And so, as a general rule of thumb, go with the external DAC.
Okay? Thanks so much for the question, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.